fine. It looks like we've got a little bit of sun. Seven amps. Seven amps. There's the volts. 6.9 amps. Seven amps. Volts. Amps. Amps. Battery. Inverter. Fan as a load. 7.2 amps. 7.2 amps makes a difference. Now this meter, you can actually see the MPPT working a lot better than uh, this cheaper meter. You can still see this one reset the MPPT every now and then. Okay, now this is out of a 5.6 Amp max solar panel. Seven amps. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can see that all together there. The voltmeter's a bit high. Let's see if we can get that in frame a bit better. There, I can get it sideways. Twelve point eight nine, twelve point nine. This volt reading's not very good, but as you can see, the amps clearly match, roughly. And let's just loop through the negative, and it's not jumping around on the table. Yeah, the camera moves around a bit, but the camera's got nothing to do with the, the uh, accuracy of the reading. Okay, this is a lot quicker response on this one and you can see it a lot better. I actually like this reading a lot better than this one um, purely because it's an instantaneous response. It's a live reading. Uh, this one just gives you the max. The, uh, there's a bit of cloud over the panel now but you can clearly see all right, let's go over the setup. Follow the cable. All right, it's facing towards the sun, and the sun's behind that cloud. Um, it clearly is an MPPT controller, albeit not a very good one. I mean, it's a $20, $25 controller, uh, but it works well. Okay. Uh, this is another old battery that I've been charging. It's actually a spare one for the Honda Accord. But we're charging this battery here. I've got the voltmeter there, there, negative, positive. That goes to the inverter. The inverter's on. And it's running the fan. And you can hear, that's a pure sine wave inverter, you can hear there's no grumble grumble of the fan motor as there was but it's behind a cloud now there's not much we can do about that but this test pretty much proves that that is an MPPT controller now the test I did on the trailer yesterday there was a lot of resistance and that was a resistance test and the whole idea of that test was to uh, show you what resistance can do to a charge controller and how a, any charge controller, you can say, oh look, it's not doing it, it's fake. Um, seven amps pretty much makes this an MPPT charge controller. Albeit, I'm not saying it's a good one, all right. Um, but for a nice cheap charge controller, to go onto the back of panels, this is pretty good. I'm just waiting for for the cloud to move so we can get another another look at that. Uh, 
I mean, that cloud's pretty thick and it goes on forever. So I think we were pretty lucky to get that first shot in. And I haven't cut the video. Um, it's a, the, I did the first bit this morning where I talked about the, the testing, but basically, so I don't t cut that video, um, you can see how this test is. Uh, some people said I was moving this and it stuffed up the reading. Well, now it's sitting um, there. It's not moving at all. And if the sun ever comes back out again, you'll see it go up to 7 amps again. And uh, I'll just pin the solar panel um, Uh, st stats on the side here um, what it's what it's max volts and short circuit and all that is and yeah I mean seven amps out of that um, cheap fast MPP t charge controller from a 5.6 amp panel I'm pretty impressed with it um, I had one fella say now I, I actually removed his comment because um, when you make comments, please make sure other people and myself can reply to them. It's no good making a statement and then me not being able to reply and um, maybe link you the right information. But uh, what this person said was, well, oh, MPPTs up the volts, just test the volts, you should have higher volts. Um, no, they don't. MPPT takes the extra volts out of the panel and turns it into more amps which is what you're seeing at the start of this test. Unfortunately, I've got, I can't control all that cloud there. And, you know, there's no sun on the lawn right now. And if I hook this up directly to the uh, battery in the um, camper trailer and bypassed all the resistance, um, you would have seen a, a really good result on that as well all right okay i think that pretty much confirms it um, i'm sorry to disappoint all those that said it was fake i'm happy it's not fake i thought it was fake um because i've been told by quite a few people oh they're fake but after these tests uh, it's not fake at all it's actually a real mppt charge controller albeit a not a very good one um, but it does work it does work um, so just try you know go buy one try the test for yourself you don't have to have all the meters i got here i mean these cheapest chip ones here i bought two of them to do testing this one this one never worked since i since i've had it uh, but at least i got one out of two that worked um, and the rest of the meters are working actually really, really fine. Um, I prefer this sort of meter because it gives me a really live reading. This sort of meter doesn't. Oh, we might be getting a bit of sun now. No, it just tricked us for a minute. Um, so, you know, you might not be happy with this outcome because you might have done tests and uh, prove that the one you bought was a fake um, i suggest you pull it out and do the test again the same way i've done it you don't have to use this meter but use a good good clamp meter um, or use one of these if you got it i mean as you can see it's you know they're cheap as cheap as chips but you know they're reasonably accurate reasonably the volts are a bit high but the amps here we go here we go 6.7, 6 6.8, 6.9, 6.7. 6 so from a 5.6 amp solar panel um, to 6.8, well, we had over seven at the start and the sun's not right there yet. It's just on the edge of a cloud and it's slipping behind another one. I have ordered another one of those charge controllers and I am going to test it on a bigger panel. Um, 
on a, on a, I think it's a 40 volt panel or a 33 volt panel uh, that I've got down the shed. And another fella uh, gave me the math and uh, um, watts divided by um, volts worked for appliances such as fans, but watts divided by volts on the overall like if you'd say, well, that's a 120, 120 watt panel, that should give you however many amps. Well, the math doesn't work like that on solar panels. You should know better. Um, but you do now. Here we go again. All right, the reason I put this in here was because it's slower to react than this one is. Um, and, it, and it gives those of you that are used to seeing charge controllers that aren't so quick a better look at the sort of amps that comes out. All right, so over seven amps at the start of the video when we had some sun and 6.8 um, when it's there is no sun. All right, there's absolutely no sun on that panel at all. You can see that for yourself. It's just a light spot. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little update. I hope that cleared it up for you. Um, it certainly um, showed, you know, for me, it worked great. What I'm going to do now is pin the um, output of that uh, solar panel right here and you can see for yourself. All right, keep safe everyone. Bye for now.